There are eight characteristics that living organisms share. Movement, which is the ability of an organism to change its position. Movement is easy to see in animals, but plants also show movement. They grow in the direction of a stimulus such as sunlight or gravity. Reproduction is where an organism produces offspring. Being able to respond to their surroundings or sensitivity, this is the ability of an organism to detect and respond to stimuli. A stimulus is a change in the environment. These stimuli include things like light, Lumos maximum, or temperature. They are detected by specialized cells called receptors. In animals, receptors can be located in our eyes, our ears, our tongue, skin, and nose, with each receptor responsible for detecting different stimuli. Living organisms grow and develop. This is the ability to increase in size or dry mass by increasing the number of cells or size of cells. Respiration is a crucial metabolic reaction that releases energy in the form of ATP, which is an energy carrying molecule found in living organisms. Excretion. This is the ability of an organism to remove waste products from metabolism. In animals, there are three excretory organs, which include the skin, the lungs, and the kidneys. Excretory substances include urea, produced in the liver and removed by our kidneys or skin, and carbon dioxide, produced as a byproduct of respiration, released by our lungs. Nutrition. This is the ability of taking in material for energy, growth, and development. And finally, control of internal conditions. This is the ability of an organism to control its internal conditions within narrow limits, known as homeostasis. Examples include temperature, water, and glucose. Together, we can use these characteristics if we want to classify something as living or not. Hi, my name is Mr. Science, aka Salim. If you're new to the channel, please remember to like and subscribe. And for more teaching resources, you can visit my website at www.mrscience.co.uk.